Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, I'm an artist. I work in animation and in my free time, I like to work on fine art projects. This is week two of me doing this whole YouTube thing. This week, I tried an experiment and I tried out a new product. And sum it up, it, it didn't work. <laughs> the uh, product I tried to use was something called drawing gum. And uh, I tried to, I was gonna do a video, do a review of this product, filmed everything using it, did some tests, didn't even do it on this. Through those tests, I had felt that it would work on the piece, right? What I wanted to use it for, if you don't know what drawing gum is, drawing gum is a uh, medium that you can put onto a piece of art while you're working on it and it will keep the area clean, it will keep it white, right? Or whatever color the paper is. So the goal was to put it on this character, block them out, and then go through and block in all the value in the trees. And that way it would keep the character clean, keep it from getting any dust on it. I had already gone in and put an undervalue on the trees and going through and erasing the character over and over it was a hassle, so I thought this product might work well, and I had seen other artists use it on charcoal pieces before. Um, yeah, and through knowing that other artists had used it before and doing my own tests, I thought it would work, and it did not. <laughs> uh, as soon as I started to put it onto the character, I think because of how big of an area I was trying to cover, it immediately started to warp the paper. And I fucked up, I messed up. I was shocked, I was surprised, I didn't know what to do. I, I decided to let it dry because you can't really peel it when it's wet. So I let it dry and then started to peel it and even more, it messed up. It started to rip the paper and I freaked out. I was thinking, it's over. The, this piece is totally fucked up now. I got this far on it and now I'm just, I'm screwed. I thought the piece was ruined. Um, yeah. And honestly, if you look at it, you, you, you can't even tell. You can't even tell that there's anything actually wrong with it. Um, but I can, you know, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I see the issues. I see where there's improvement. I see where I could fix things, right? But I'm realizing something. You know, these pieces, these fine art pieces, these pieces that I'm making by hand, not making digitally, there's no undo button. These pieces, they're, you know, they're a lot like us, right? We have our scars, we have our freckles, we have our little imperfections that, you know, we fixate on. We have issues with. And that's okay, right? Because even though we see them as imperfections, maybe they're things that we don't like, other people will see them as beautiful, right? They'll see them as things that are a part of us and oftentimes people don't even notice them really, you know, until they get like a really close look. And even then, people admire them. They, they see these imperfections, they know there's a history. They ask, where'd you get that scar from? It's so cool, right? And that's what I'm trying to understand and see with this piece. Get myself to be okay with the little imperfections because there's honestly, you know, there's things that I see, the blemishes that I'm fixated on with trying to erase out, you know, they're there. The little tear in the paper there that is virtually unnoticeable that I'm fixating on. You know, eventually someone will notice that and they'll see that tear and they'll ask what happened and I'll tell them this funny little story of me trying to use a product I've never used before on a piece that I really cared about and learning from it. And being okay with that. The mistakes, the issues, the things that we see on these pieces they're part of them. They're part of its history. 
And honestly, that's, that's beautiful, right? So that is what I learned this week. <laughs> that my imperfections are okay. And that they'll add to the piece. Yeah. If you're new to my channel, I am currently working on a triptych series. This is the second piece in that triptych series. There's a third one after this. And if you keep watching along, if you follow, subscribe, then you'll be able to see me finish that piece. And when the whole series is done, I'll be posting a video walking through each step of the process. But until then, I'm doing weekly updates to just talk about what it's like to create something and update you all as I go along. So yeah, if you like this stuff, then subscribe, like the video, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.